Well, hello, welcome back to the fish locker out on the boat. Now, myself and Miss Fish Locker are on a are on our way to a mark. We just thought we would stop. Just thought we'd stop over a little bit of reef. To run a float on a light, uh, to run a float on some lures. And first fish is a lovely marked little pollock. Not a big one by any by anyone's standards. Look at the size of the live bit it took. A lovely looking fish when they've been in the kelp. And he really has taken that taken that hook well. He's spitting up little sprats. Carry this drift on for another 10 minutes. See if we can't winkle out another pollock. Maybe even a little bass. And then we'll get where we're going. There you go. Out with the pair of forceps through the gill. Not a bad start. Just started our first drift. And I'll show you the rigs when I get them to the surface. But this could be the target species. No, it most definitely is not. We have a little pin waiting to start with. This is the trace. Just got a simple sliding lead, a hook length of about maybe three feet, a couple of beads and a spinner, and ragworm tipped with a little bit of sand eel. And the target species is flat. a few drifts around in the bay, see if we can't find a flatty and then later on as the tide changes we might see if we can put the anchor down and catch a ray. We'll see, we'll see what the conditions are doing. When you get a bite, sorry, when you get a bite, because we're drifting along, the baits are going to be travelling along the seabed. Your first little bite will be the indication that a fish has found it. So all I do is, as soon as I see the first bite, is I let some line out. Just so that if a fish is chasing it, it has a chance to catch it. Let some line out, count to ten, engage the bail arm again, let the drift tighten the line. If there's still a bite there, lift into it. If not, carry on your drift. It's a very pretty little red gurney. Gurnards must like this colour because I caught a gurnard on this rig last time. Lovely little guy, isn't he? Spiky. Spiky as anything. Well, be real careful when you handle him because they're just absolutely covered in spines. wasn't expecting that. It's a very bright looking. If someone land on that might have been a rear. 
look at this guy. Gorgeous looking male cuckoo rats. Don't know what he's doing here up sand. Get this rebaited. bit of weight in this it might be a ray or it could just be a dogfish making a nuisance of itself just as suspected everybody's favorite dogfish a little dogfish donut Not what we wanted. Actually, properly hooked so it's okay. We don't need the net. But there is target species. Well done, Lizzie. Cracking eating size place. This is a favourite of my father in law. So we will be taking this. Which is good because it's absolutely mullered that hook. Get it on and have a look at it. Trying to be gentle with it in case it's a place. I catch when you're fishing on ground like this it's sometimes these they live they live in holes in the sand when something comes past like a fish they just jump out and grab hold of it they obviously saw the bait going past thought it was something it could out could have a go at and decided to grab hold You don't really give a bite like a bite you just get heavy incredible how they change colors isn't it yeah you don't really get a bite the rod just gets heavy and when you're reeling it in there's no fight in it it's just a solid weight I think we've found a ray. The rod literally just went, whew, couldn't even get it out of the holder. Laundry. Oh, and it's 
just hooked in the lip. Lip under the water. Big female blondery. She must have just come past that and landed on it. She just foul up to her lip. I'll show you. Hi. Look where the hook got it. Literally just in the corner. Up here. That'll be a ten pound fish. Let's get all this mess sorted out and then we'll have a proper look at them. Just add a nice little bite on this rod. So all I'm doing now is I'm just letting a little bit of line off. Check the drag. Once I felt the bite, I immediately let six, seven, eight feet of line off. Just so if it was a fish chasing the bait, it would have a chance to catch it. And then just engage the bail arm and let the drift tighten the line. And then when I felt the first knock again, I lifted into it. That could be another dogfish. We never know. Should always treat it like it's what you want it to be. Oh! Another gurnard! Like an orange porcupine. Go and open your mouth, I'm not putting my hands anywhere else. Be really careful when you handle them because they are absolutely covered in spines. Now look, that's a massive spine there. All these have got a little spine on, and they've got some huge ones at the size of here. I don't know if you can see them. They're a gorgeous blue eye, haven't they? And you see these? They're like little legs. They walk about on the seabed with them. Now Gurnard are a really nice eating fish when you get them of about two pound, two pound plus. This one here would have to keep growing for a few years. Now, see these little legs when it walks about on. I think I'll get a photo of him. See how the rod's just bent over? There's no fight in it. I think this is another octopus. Well, no, because if it comes off halfway up, it'll just get light. No, oh, no, it's woken up. What is it? Watch the place. Is it any Oh, and that is a belter, that is a monster place. Didn't fight at all until it got to the <laughs> until it got to the side of the boat. What an absolute cracker. Both fish have been on this same trace. We've got some gorgeous colours in this. Some gorgeous colours on her, aren't they? What's oh, stunner? Hmm. I think I've found another ray. I wish I'd had the camera on in time with that. I lifted it, I just lifted into it and it just went zzzz. Just ran off. When you're playing decent sized rays, 
I'm saying a rear because if it's a place it's going to be like a multi-world record <laughs> if it's a rear the thing we're playing them in a tide run like this is just hold pressure on them and all they'll do is they'll glide the up in the tide really can't bully them if I get it in I'll be very surprised because it does feel like a good one Back of the net. This one's even bigger than the last one. Oh. Jeez. That'll be well into double figures. I haven't had a chance to release that other ray yet. I've still got it in a still got it in a barrel of water recovery. I haven't even weighed it, but I know that this one is bigger. Look at the size of that. And there's the place rigging its mouth. That's weird that, that both of the blonde rays have come on the same trace and both of the place have come on the same one. Can I have them? Where about some forceps? Next to me. There we are. A 1-0 specimen extra. And all it was was a little bit of ragworm tipped with a bit of sand eel. Is a monster of a blonde. I'll compare it to this other one. What size of them? Both females as well. We'll have to we'll have to get a scale on these two and then let them both go here because I can't fit them both in barrel at the same time. Just recovering them in the water. You can tell that they're, they're starting to recover because they're starting to fight against me a bit. And the edges of their wings, when they're stressed out and tired, they go pink. And you can see now that they've started to go back to normal. So see if, see if that one wants to go, yes. I'm gonna go. She's gone under the floor. She decided to go that way. This one. What a beauty she is. I've got a bit of a dilemma. We've got fish on. Both rods, is it? Need you on this one. There you go. We were just, I just literally said, we'll give it five minutes, and I have managed to winkle out another stunning place here.
sorry the sun's behind it. I have put a GoPro down on the seabed to hopefully show what the seabed is like. Now otherwise I would start the engine and spin the boat around. And a dogfish, of course it is. I've just managed to pull out another fantastic place. The spots on that one are really vivid. That's yeah, stunning, aren't they? You can see the rig there, it's nothing special, just a couple of beads, a spinner, and some ragworm tipped with a little bit of fish. They have been a cracking stamp of fish. Oh, calm down, calm down. They have been a cracking stamp of place today. Now, we do. We do like to release fish. And I've been releasing dogfish all day. We do like to release fish, but place, my wife and my father-in-law really like place. So we have kept, we have kept three. This is the general stamp of fish that we've been getting today. Absolutely stunning, aren't they? The, si the size of the spots on this one are massive. Oh, yeah. Prime eating place. That's three for the table, perfect. Well, there we are, we've come to the end of our session. It's been an absolutely beautiful day and we have had some fantastic fish. There's three fantastic keeper place. They're in fan, well, I keep saying it, <laughs> they're in fantastic condition. Look at the size and they're really good stocky fish. Now I had, I had hoped to catch three. I have caught three, I'm a very happy man. We've had, um, we've had a fantastic bycatch as well. We had uh, the unfortunate dogfish, we did have an awful lot of those, but we did get uh, a couple of nice gurnards and two amazing blonde rays. One was nine pounds, one, one was 13, what was it, 13? It's just, just over 13 pounds. Amazing, two females, cracking condition, uh, lovely colorations on them as well, slightly darker than the ones that I caught the other week. Um, yeah, just on place gear, so it was, it was extra fun. Uh, most of the fishing that we were doing, it was very simple rigs. I'm just looking for one of them now. All I had was I just to add, and then I can untangle it. Yes. I just had a very simple locked in lead. And on the business end, there was what we're talking about here three and a half to four feet 20 pound floor row ending in a 1-0 specimen extra I also like stinger hooks for this just because I've got a nice long shank I had a few beads this pattern pulled out more place this part this pattern pulled out two place and the the simple red and orange pulled out another one with a couple of spinners on and all I was fishing was I was just fishing ragworm and I was tipping it with little bits of the silver belly from a launch that I'd caught earlier. We, um, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you've enjoyed joining us. Don't forget to uh, select the notification button and select all notifications so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Let me know how you get on with your place fishing. We will hopefully be doing a catch and cook, like I say, at least one of those is going to my father-in-law do the one we will keep and we will cook ourselves um, all the very best and see you later <laughs>